Hi everybody, it's Goddess Jillian, and welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. I know it's been a really long time, and I'm sorry, but, uh, and I may have mentioned this before, I took a job, well, let me just backtrack. This is where I talk about spiritual topics that I need to talk about to help me get through this crazy thing called life. And, um, my passion is helping people and doing readings and helping give people clarity because the, the heaviness of the human existence right now is really incredibly intense and a lot of people are struggling and a lot of people are suffering and so my passion is helping people and crystals and using crystal energy to help people and help heal people and all of that great stuff and also to talk about spiritual topics in here which helps me and hopefully helps others anyway I got off my path <laughs> because I took a job and um, the job was not in any way in alignment with all of those things that are my passion and so today's topic is all about Choosing love over fear because really in life there are only two choices You can choose from a place of love or you can choose from a place of fear And I chose to take this job because I was afraid that I wasn't gonna have enough money To pay my bills and all of that and I have unwavering faith, but somehow I let the fear come and overtake me and so I took a job which, like I said, was not in any way on my path. And wouldn't you know it, the job I took was with a person, my boss, ex-boss, who was a very bad person. A bully, a racist, a misogynist, objectifying women all the time, barking orders all the time, talking to people like they're dogs all the time. Everybody. And... I stayed because I was afraid. I stayed because I let fear dictate my choices. And it really came to a head when I was, I had to have surgery last week and um, it was not elective, I had to have it. And my ex-boss came into the office and was sick and he made me get in the car with him and he coughed all over the car and he was very talking to me as usual very derogatorily when I said you know I can't afford to get sick I have surgery I'm going into surgery like the next day and he snapped at me like well at least you have insurance you know and I was like what does that have to do with anything <laughs> and then it continued that whole dialogue of coughing and hacking on me and you know, on my computer and expecting me to get next to him and show himself on the computer when and I said I cannot afford to get sick I need to leave the office because I'm going into surgery you know and and you don't want to go into surgery with the bug or come out of surgery and then be sick when you're recovering because the surgery is pretty significant for me and he said, if you leave, consider it your resignation. And so in that moment, I chose love over fear. I chose loving myself and taking care of myself over the fear of not having enough money. And everybody in my world had been telling me, you got to get out of there. If you don't get out of there, he's going to kill you emotionally and you've got to get out. And so finally, I made a choice from love instead of fear. And I am so grateful to be away from that dark energy and that dark place and that, you know, basically narcissist that I had to be around for all that time. Because anybody that would consciously put you and your health in jeopardy for no real reason is definitely narcissistic. <laughs> anyway, so I want to tell everybody 
when you're faced with a choice, choose love. Choose coming from love. Choose what is going to make you feel good and make you feel happy and that you know is on your path instead of choosing from fear. Fear of lack, fear of loss, fear of, oh, whatever. Because if you choose from fear, it will take you down the darkest road of your life. And this goes back to my previous vlog, which I don't even think I've put up yet because I never had any time when I was working for that person. But I did a vlog and I'll, I'll put it up as well about not taking anything negative into 2020. Okay, this is our last shot. We got to leave all the darkness behind, all the narcissistic people, all the abusive people, all the bad choices that we've made. We have to leave that behind and not take anything negative or dark into 2020 because you're always going to be protected by your higher power anyway and the angels always. So if you choose from fear, you're propagating that. You're propagating the darkness. You're propagating being off your path and not following the light. Okay, so that's my message today. Choose love. Always choose love. And please subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. And I, I am committed to getting back on my path and being back in my sauna and getting healthy again. Because I did get sick, by the way. I got sick as a dog. And I have been suffering immeasurably, not just from the surgery. The surgery was bad enough, but being sick as well, it really, it really has taken a toll on me. And it occurred to me that it's my fault. I chose to stay. I chose to be in that situation with that dark human being. And I'm never doing that again. I'm never going to allow people like that in my life again, ever right? So I'm owning it. And so please subscribe and thank you so much. And oh, 